For this training video, I will show you how to use the Relabel tool to add a hierarchy to PowerPivot using Prediction Insight Analytics. This demonstration uses the MovieClick dataset provided in the Prediction Sample Data Workbook included with the Prediction Insight for Excel installation. When performing an analysis, it's sometimes helpful to add your own hierarchical information to the data. In this pivot table, I have a count of customers organized by the marital status that was provided as a data field. However, for my analysis, I really just want to know first how many customers are simply married or not married, and only then be able to drill down to the specific details. To create such a hierarchy, I use the Relabel tool from Prediction Insight Analytics. This tool provides a quick and easy interface to relabel values in a particular column. To use the Relabel tool, first I select the Relabel Tool button, which is in the Clean Data menu on the Insight Analytics toolbar. When the Relabel dialog appears, I can read the helpful instructional text on the first page and click Next to get to the data selection page. Here I can select that I want to access data that I have stored in PowerPivot. It's important that before you go into the Relabel wizard, you first open the PowerPivot window. If you don't, Prediction Insight will provide a warning telling you to do so. After selecting that my data is in PowerPivot, I select the appropriate table, which is in this case, Customers. In the column selection page, I select marital status. Now I arrive at the relabel page. The relabel page contains a grid with each value that appears in the column you selected along with the number of times it appears. I can sort the grid by clicking on the columns and then change the values by selecting a value in the combo box or even typing in new values. I use this page to relabel all values as married or not married. I click Next to tell Power P Prediction Insight how to handle the result. Prediction Insight will add a new column and table to the Power Pivot. I'll rename this column as Married. When I finish the Relabel task, notice that I'll be prompted to refresh the Pivot Table results. This causes my new column to appear. Now I can add the mar Married column to my Pivot Table to show a hierarchy between the married column and the marital status column, complete with subtotals. This concludes this training video for Relabel. Please visit our Help and website for more training videos for Prediction Insight.